tributes to little Jaslyn Adams. She is the seven-year-old girl who was shot and killed while sitting in a car with her father at a McDonald's drive-thru. And tonight, the community coming out to show her su their support for her. WGN's Dana Rebic is on the west side with that story, Dana. Well, we've seen several vigils, um, memorials, and uh, gatherings this week in honor of this little girl. And tonight it was a bit different. More than 100 cars formed a caravan from the south side to this McDonald's where this shooting took place. And there we also had a chance to check in with her family, who gave us some reaction to the new developments and the arrest in this case. At 87th and the Dan Ryan. I really commend all of these people, all of the the motorcycle clubs and the car clubs. This is beautiful and more people should come and participate. A ride benefit for seven year old Jaslyn Adams. The little girl shot and killed at a Westside McDonald's Sunday. This baby lost her life and for what? You took an innocent life. You're, you're out here shooting. It's just so much killing everywhere. Uh, personally, because I have kids. So I, I feel the pain of the mother and father, you know, to, to lose a child in such a tragic way. That's that's terrible. I, I can't imagine. I don't want to imagine. So we're trying to be out here so we can prevent that from happening again. The car caravan left around six o'clock and headed to Roosevelt and Kedzie near the McDonald's where the shooting took place. There, a balloon release for Jaslyn. Her grandmother, Lawanda McMullen, was there. Oh, wow, I think it's beautiful. It's amazing. And, I, I, you know, my grandbaby brought the world out today. The family learned last night of new developments in the case. A suspect in custody after being shot by Chicago police on the Eisenhower near Mannheim. It happened around 4.30 yesterday. Gang intelligence officers were surveilling the offender. He crashed, then tried to carjack a family to get away and shot at police. An officer shot him multiple times in the arm. The victim's family hoping police can find the other gunman tied to Jaslyn's murder. Let's get a full investigation. Let's try to get both of them last month. Let's get both of them. I want justice. I want both of them. I want justice for my grandbaby. That's what it's all about. Now, Jas Jaslyn's grandmother tells us she does believe that it could have been a tip from the public that led police to this suspect. And tonight she wanted to thank whoever that was, if it was that person who did come forward. Tonight she said she also wanted to send her well wishes to the family of Caden Swan. That is the two year old or nearly two year old boy who was shot on Lakeshore Drive. And yesterday, arrests made in both of those cases. Live at Area 4, uh, Dana Revick, WGN News.